All right, so we're over at the uh, drill press. How do you like the nice little drill press vise here? This is a uh, new addition to the shop. My favorite style of vise. It's fast acting drill press vise. This is a Heinrich four inch model GM, which is a vise that will work in the horizontal and you can flip it up on these sides vertical position. Great little uh, vise. I got this from Travers Tool. Um, it's a uh, this is a serious, serious time saver, right? Um, this type of vise here along with the moving table uh, really makes this really worthwhile. So what we're going to do here is we're going to drill and uh, tap the four mounting holes for the, um, for the jaw in uh, in the float lock. So um, this is a number seven solid carbide drill. I guess you would call this a, this is like a, this is like a short, like a stubby, uh, like a screw machine size, I guess you would say. Um, it's a great little drill. I use them a lot because I do a lot of quarter by 20 tapping and uh, you, there's just absolutely no need to spot in advance or change or anything like that. So the way we're going to do this, uh, our marks are, are all spotted here, right, on the, uh, on the part. And all we're going to do is, uh, while the drill's off, is uh, give me a little, is position. And uh, go ahead and knock, knock, knock the holes out. Before we go on from there, before you tap, make sure and put your little slight cham fear in there to uh, help with the tapping operation. Same thing here with the, with the spindle not turning, center it up, lock it down. That single lip will toss your table all over the place if you have it powered up. There we go. Put our tap in here. Got a spiral point. Green feel. Quarter by 20. We're going to put it in tap mode. We're going to go ahead and set our stop here. So, and we're going to use the automatic tapping mode, put it in low here. All right. Let's get a little, a little juju on there. Pretty handy. There we go, pretty straightforward. Let's go back to the bench. Uh, you got to be careful these spiral point tap coming out the back side will push you up a nasty little burr that'll cut the snot out of you. Quick. 
denogifying the sharp edges so I don't cut the piss out of myself. Lube that a little bit. There we go. All right. Go ahead and put the rest of my fasteners in here. Get started, there you go. Alrighty. There's the other one. Gave them a little fresh coat of yellow paint. It was whatever color yellow I actually found, something that was in the cabinet, so don't ask me. Uh, we need to put the uh, split pins in where are they. That's that one. anymore. Tighten these up here, they're still a little loose. Get in there. All right. Okay, the next piece that goes in there is this. Uh, but it is kind of nasty, and there's a whole lot of slop in here. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to knock this pin out. We're going to take a file to this stuff and square it up. And then maybe slip a couple of washers down in here to take the slack out of this. And um, 
clean it up, get the rust off of it. So that is next. That's why you only hold them by your fingertips. Pretty beat up.
All right, there you go. Float lock vice is uh, pretty much complete. Um, I would uh, gave it a little clean up here. Uh, replaced the jaws, cleaned all of the handles. I'm going to trim the end of this, trim the end of this bolt off. This uh, screw is a little long, but that's nothing to make a video about. It'd be kind of bull ring. Um, it works a whole lot better uh, now that I uh, uh, cleaned the thing up and greased it. So. Uh, I'm looking forward to <clears throat> putting it to use. So there you go. Um, just had a, uh, uh, had a great visit uh, from Dan Metzger and his mother. Uh, we're going to have some more information uh, and video on that shortly. So look forward to that. Um, still looking forward to uh, all the events coming up. Uh, and. Um, uh, so look for more out of the shop here soon. Be safe in the shop, and I'll talk to you real soon.